、デイビッドのノルウェーのラーメン屋さんも超人気店っていうふうに聞いたんですけど、うん、What kind of ラーメン It's mostly Python style. <laughs> yeah. Python and Tom Tom Men and the vegetarian, of course. Karamiso.、Uh-huh. Yeah, Karamiso. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Chashu de. Daitai Chashu. Yes. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's going to be going out for ramen after they watch this. <laughs> They're going to be like, the ramen mushroom guy. The ramen mushroom guy. That's a nice show. The ramen mushroom guy. Hi, everyone, welcome to JA Accelerator, the s t a r t u の s t a r t u p の紹介のシリーズ今日もやっていきたいと思いますけども今日はノーミーのデイビッドさんと田中さんに来ていただいていますなんと、えー、3人で画面に入るのはこのシリーズ初めてなんですけれどもデイビッドさんあのわざわざ、えー、デイビッドさんはノルウェーから来ていただいていますどうもありがとうございます,、はい、います,いますはい。金主体金で、えー、オーバーをして新しいタンパク源を作り出すということでやっていらっしゃるということで間違いないですかね Is it correct that you are using fungi to transform the food industry? Is that correct? That's our hope, yes、うん、えっと、もともとノルウェーの会社で今、北海道に主に進出して日本でえー、と展開しようとされてるそこも大丈夫ですか、so、?Originally you are in Norway, but now you are extending the r e a c h to 北海道。Correct? Correct. じゃあデイビッドさんがこのビジネスを始めようと思ったきっかけは何なんですか ?Why you decided to start this business?Well,、uh, mainly for impact.、Uh, fungi has been a passion of mine for since my study days, so I have a PhD in fungal biology. And really, to see the power of what fungi can do to transform how it transforms foods, so how we can use it to transform the food system. So, it's a very exciting area、mm-hmm. uh, of discovery and how we can help to make、mm-hmm. a more sustainable food system. I know, so many, 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 So, you are researching this topic because more and more populations are、like、growing in the world,、mm-hmm. and we will most likely face the food, like the risk of food safety. Yeah,、mm-hmm. uh, food security is a big issue, how we're going to be a thriving population、uh, in the next 20 years、mm-hmm. when we have a,、uh, less resources and a need for more food.、Mm-hmm. So, if we look to how nature、um, works and we,、mm-hmm. and we partner with nature,、mm-hmm. we can find new solutions. Fungi is nature's recycling system.、Mm-hmm. And so, if we learn from fungi and work with fungi,、mm-hmm. we can actually create more efficient food systems and more food. Okay. But, so, in Norway, the Davis is a ramen and the owner of the market. I'm going to tell you about the ramen and the ramen. I'm going to tell you about the ramen and the ramen. What kind of ramen restaurant do you have in Norway?、Yeah. So, ramen,、uh, re- ramen restaurant is, is、uh, Nordic style ramen.、Mm-hmm. So, where we use the local ingredients,、mm-hmm. um, which is the best ingredients you have, is the one that's growing around you.、Mm-hmm. And we tell stories about food and food、mm-hmm. sustainability by working with the local、mm-hmm. farmers, using local produce,、mm-hmm. and making something that is really an expression of、mm-hmm. where we live.、Mm-hmm. So, we, it's also about sustainability, how we can use the bones and all、oh, of the animal、oh, uh, in a sustainability through a、oh, delicious bowl of noodles. I see, I see. お店はオスロにある。Yeah. ローカルな材料って言うとどういうものがあるんですか具体的に言うと。What kind of local ingredients are you using? Yeah, so for example, instead of menma in our ramen,、uh, mm. we, we use、uh, Jerusalem artichoke,、mm. the pickled Jerusalem artichoke. That gives the same acidity in the、ah. same way that menma works in、mm. Japanese ramen in our Nordic style ramen.、Okay. So yeah, that's one example. この、まあ、今、このノービーのビジネスの中で作るその禁止体ベースの、mm. だいたいタンパクトありますよね、うん。それはラーメンに使ったりとかできたりするんですか、うん、<笑> ?I plan to use this micro-based protein for your ramen. Oh yes, I would love to. So, being in ramen, it's always about innovation, right?、Uh-huh. Ramen is a great dish for innovating. And to be able to make a mycelium chashu、uh, topping for <laughs> ramen, <laughs> <laughs> that would be,、uh, that would be my, that's my big,、okay. my big dream. But it's yeah, really, dream,、right? yeah.、Uh-huh. it's really how we use fermentation in the ramen restaurant. To say, well, what if we could use, we use it to feed maybe hundreds of people、mm, a day?、Mm. Could we use these technologies to feed millions、mm, of people、mm. in a sustainable way every day? 
And that was the start of Nomi. わかりました。あのじゃあちょっと僕田中さんに聞いちゃう。はい。田中さんはどういう形でノーミーに、えー、こうジョインしてやってらっしゃるんですか。あ、初めてコンタクトが来たのは、うん、スタートアップ北海道のウェブサイトずっと定で、うんうん。そうなんですね。はい。で、うん、北海道にあのたくさん。食品加工工場があるので、何か一緒にビジネスできるかもしれないので、あの取引先となるような人を紹介してもらえないかというところから、うん、あの始まりました。田中さん自身はまあスタートアップ北海道っていう、うん、組織に、えー、今も続続していらっしゃってて、はい、それでその海外の海外のスタートアップの支援されてますよね。うんはい、そのホームページに、えー、デイビッドの方からアクセスがあったってそういうことですか。はい、あ、うん、そ,のそうなんですね。えー、じゃあなんか別に。どっかで会ったとかそういうことじゃなくて。全くなくて。ああ、なるほど、なるほど。はい。はい、あの、田中さん自身に、禁止体のバックグラウンドがあるとか、そういうこともなくて。<笑>ゼロです、ね。あ、ゼロです。<笑> But she's becoming an expert very quickly.、うんうん、でもきっとラーメンは好きなんですね。ラーメンは好きです、ね。そうですね。僕、は、も、い、ラーメンは。ラーメン好きが3人、そう。We just came back from eating ramen just now. <笑>そ,う<笑><笑>そ,う<笑>そうなんだね。うん、あこの辺、美味しいラーメンありますよ。東京はいっぱい。あの鳥パイタンのラーメン。あ、う、あ、ん、ミシュランスター。ああ、いやいやいや、ああ、いや、ああ、また、また、一緒に行きましょう。うんはい、じゃあ、じゃあですね、えー、っと、早速ですけど、ノーミージャパンのビジネスについて。えー、プレゼンテーション、ちょっとしていただいても、よろしいでしょうか。はい、great。so I'm, I'm happy to talk to you about no me japan。Which is a wholly owned subsidiary of Norwegian Mycelium based in Norway. Now, here in Japan, we are working with side stream producers. This is agricultural and food companies that produce waste. And what we do is we help transform that waste into a resource that we can use using our fungal technology. So, essentially, what we want to do is to help. Uh, side stream producers, that is food and agricultural companies, to get more value out of their side streams and be able to increase the opportunities to return that value to farmers、uh, who need to be able to get more value out of their raw materials. Now, how does this work? What Nomi does is we help design waste out of existing food and agricultural production facilities. And we use this, this could be a number of different nutrients. Such as fat, sugar, or protein rich side streams. And we can transform them、uh, into a high value product using a process called biomass fermentation. Essentially, what we do is we take those raw materials, use the side streams to be able to grow our fungus at very large scales, very similar to a production like beer brewing. We then take this biomass of the fungus. Press out the water, and we can make different types of food products or feed products. Like you see here, like a high protein powder, or my dream to make a mycelium chashu for my restaurant someday. Now, mycoproteins, as they're called, that's the end product of what Nomi produces, have a number of different nutritional and functional benefits. So it has very high protein. Uh, its cell walls contain beta glucans, which is known to help with immuno health.、Uh, and it has a number of different functional properties that can be used in a range of food applications. Now, mycoproteins is quite a new ingredient, so we're just scratching the surface of how it can be used as a feed ingredient or a food ingredient. So it's a very active and exciting area of research. And almost, perhaps most importantly of all, is very sustainable protein since we're using. These side streams to be able to create new food sources, so it has a very low CO2 footprint. Now, Nomi is partnering with corporations globally to be able to bring Nomi's technology at scale for a more sustainable food system. In Norway, we're partnering with Tina, which is Norway's largest dairy, and a feed manufacturer, Skretting, to be able to create a sustainable feed ingredient、uh, at scale. Now, in Norway, Feeding our fish in a sustainable way, our salmon, is a big and important issue. Currently, these sources of protein come s for example, soy, which is coming from Brazil, contributing to loss of the rainforest through agriculture expansion. So, what we offer is an opportunity to make these resources in Norway at scale in order to replace unsustainable protein sources. In Japan, Nomi Japan is working with、uh, Nitten Sugar. 
uh, which is Japan's largest sugar beet producer, in order to use their byproducts and side streams in new ways to get more value out of those agricultural raw materials to make new products and return that value uh, into higher prices for its farmers. This is going to help support Hokkaido agriculture in its base. Now we're hoping uh, we can make a good partnership with Hokuden uh, in Hokkaido to be able to use their side streams in new ways, to be able to transform uh, their byproducts into new opportunities uh, for Hokuden in new products in their factories and also for Hokkaido's farmers on a large scale. Now we're hoping to engage in a proof of concept product to be able to show what Nomi's technology can do with Hokuden's, uh, in Hokuden's factory. And we look forward to being able to do this. Our real passion is to be able to create sustainable solutions at scale that have impact that can help Hokkaido as a region into more sustainable food and also to make farming a more sustainable livelihood for the future. Thanks very much. So, how do you feel after collaborating with uh, Hokuren? Well, I was first uh, thinking it would be a really traditional organization, mm. and it is as farmers, mm. but I've really found them to be innovative in their thinking mm. and really to understand quickly the mindset that Nomi has mm. and how we can move from thinking about waste mm. being in a factory to how that can be a resource mm -hmm. to be able to make more food mm -hmm. and more efficiency. Mm -hmm. And they've been actually really innovative in their thinking mm -hmm. about how we could do this in a really good way. I th I've been also really surprised about mm. their initiative that mm. they've been taking and again mm. that they have the mindset that we look for mm. in how we could actually do this in a sustainable way. Mm. Mm. So we've really had to at first really tell them what our technology mm. is about and how it can be used. And once we did that, that they've been thinking very creatively with us and how we can mm. create new solutions. So it's been really exciting so far. <laughs> You went to Yamanashi? Yes, mm. we got to see an uh, interesting factory mm. that had a real challenge with, uh, mm. with waste. Mm. And, we'd, and our whole process is to say, could we use that as a resource mm. to be able to produce mm. mycelium protein? Mm. So tr transform that from waste into a new resource to make mm. this, the operations more sustainable. Mm. Further, we're looking at how we can help with water recycling because mm -hmm. these plants can use mm -hmm. a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And instead of having to dispose of that water, that, that we can actually use the nutrients with our fungi and return clean water back to their operations. どう、みほさんのやってる一緒に国連さんと。一緒に。結構うまいことなんか走り出した感じがあって。どうですか感想としては。本当にありがたいですし、本当に荻野さんのおかげでこれが始まったんですけど。いや、僕らさんのあのフ
-hmm. instead of being a linear food system to be a mm -hmm. circular food mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. Using technologies like, like Nomi has mm -hmm. to bring that and to be able to create, pr produce all these values both mm -hmm. for society, mm -hmm. for the operations, and also for the farmers. Okay. アクセラレータープログラムで5ヶ月ぐらいじゃないですか、うんうんうん、この中で十分なその一生実験の結果って得られるんですか、うん、So the acceleration program itself is only five months duration、うん、So do you, can you, can we have enough output within this period? Yeah, so in our innovation model we build in a very stepwise process、うんうん We're really at the first stages where we see and identify the opportunities、うん、and then we find a valorization strategy、うん In the, the context of the JA Accelerator program, we'll get to that stage, and then that will form the basis of knowledge、mm -hmm. and at least of understanding of what we can achieve to take it to the next step、mm -hmm. in looking at how we would industrialize what we've built in the POC. So it really gives us an opportunity、mm -hmm. to launch what we can、mm -hmm. do、uh, to a commercial level through this program. あの日本全体でいろんな可能性を試していくっていうふうに思いますけど、日本も含んで成功を祈りたいと思います。全然違う話ですけど、札幌のラーメン屋さんはどうですか ？Oh yeah,、うん、I love I love 札幌ラーメン。Yes, we have to find some good shops. あ、よく行かれる。Whenever I'm whenever I'm in Japan, definitely I go wherever I am. But for really for inspiration. Uh -huh. Particularly from different、うん、regional styles like Sapporo,、うん、which is one of my favorite styles.、うん、okay. Yeah. あの、デイビッドのノルウェーのラーメン屋さんも超人気店っていうふうに聞いたんですけど、あの、日本のラーメン屋さんで勉強になる、もっと美味しくて勉強になるようなものありますか So,、うん、yeah, you, your ramen restaurant in Norway is also like very popular, but like what kind of learning are you getting from the ramen restaurants in Japan? Oh my gosh, I think it's a, a lot of it has to do with, and again, ramen is about innovation.、Mm -hmm. Really, the tradition is innovation.、Mm -hmm. So every ramen shop has their own little twist, right?、Mm -hmm. uh, how they do things, the flavors that they make. And so, in any, any shop, especially when you know the small things to look、mm -hmm. for, you see how they're doing it. Like, ah, yeah, that's a good、mm -hmm. idea. And、uh, to really get、uh, inspired by、mm -hmm. others, to get inspired by how things are doing it, I think that's how we, we co create, right, in, in that way,、mm -hmm. by learning from others and building and making something、mm -hmm. cool ourselves. なんかデイビッドが話すとラーメンの話でもサイエンティストな感じするね。ぜひあの今度東京で僕美味しいラーメン屋さん連れて行くんで一緒に行きましょう。じゃあ今日はどうもありがとうございました。ありがとうございます。<笑>